Well, hello, everybody. Welcome. Hey, we're going to do something kind of exciting today. At least I think so. I'm going to teach you a new way to factor this quadratic expression, or one like it where a is not equal to 1. <clears throat> Can't factor out a constant. And we're not going to use guess and check. We're not going to use like a box method. We're not going to use the x method where it's like this. We're not going to separate this to factor by grouping. It's really cool. A uh, little shortcut here. Now, uh, before we begin, real quick, if you are a math teacher, I've created a lesson and worksheet for this. I'll put a link in the description below. You can download it for free. But with that said, let's get to it. So check this out. What we're going to do is we're going to take this leading coefficient of 6, and we're going to multiply it by the constant term of 12. So 6 and 12 is, of course, 72. And so this is what we're going to do right here. This is what we've got. We're going to factor this. That 6 is going to come back into play later because, you see, we multiplied by 6. Now, later, we're going to go ahead and divide by 6. But <clears throat> for now, multiplied a times c, you get 72. We're going to factor this. Now, if you remember, to factor this, we have to figure out what two numbers multiply to 72. And then because this is negative, they're going to subtract to make negative 1. So if you're not sure, maybe you know already off the top of your head it's 8 and 9, but if you're stuck, you go ahead and you just write all the factors, right? 2 and 36, um, 324, 418, 612, and the last is, of course, 8 and 9. Now, we subtract them, 71, 34, 21, 14, 6, and 1. And this is, of course, what we're looking for. 8 and 9. So thing is, it's a negative 1, so the 9 is negative, and the 8 is positive. So let's go ahead and separate that. Okay. So now, at the beginning, we multiplied by 6. So now we're going to take and we're going to divide this number right here, these last two numbers, by that 6 to take it out like this. So we multiplied by 6 at the beginning. We factored it. Now we're going to divide by 6. Then we reduce. So divide by 6, now we're going to reduce, let's see, 3 over 2, 4 over 3, right? So to get our final answer right here, what we're going to do is this 2 is going to be a coefficient, so we're going to have 2x minus 3, and over here, this 3 is going to go here, so we're going to get 3x plus 4. <clears throat> That's our answer right there. If, now, if we did want to check it, we could, of course, see that does make 6x squared using FOIL, right? Outside is 8x. The inside is negative 9x. Those two make negative 1x. And, of course, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. So it works. That is our answer. So, again, just to be clear, here's what we did. We took that 6 and we multiplied it by the constant and got 72. Then we factored this thing. When we had that factored, we went ahead and took that 6 that we had multiplied at the beginning and divided these two numbers at the end by that 6, reduced, and then moved those denominators to make them coefficients for the x. Boom, done. Pretty cool. So let's see one more, just for fun. Why not? Let's see. So let's try, uh, let's see, I got one right here. It's all beautiful and set up. Let's do 4x squared plus 8x minus 5. Let's do that right here. So, mm, can't take a constant out. There's nothing that goes into all of the terms. So we're going to multiply that leading coefficient times negative 5, which is our uh, constant. So, 8x minus 20. So now we're looking for the two numbers. And multiply to 20, add to 8. That would, of course, be 10 and 2. One's positive, one's negative. Because remember, if C is negative, then they're different signs. The bigger number will have the sign of B. So we multiplied by 4 at the beginning, so now we have to take that 4 back out. So we're going to divide by 4, right? Reduce. Okay, take the denominator, move it to the front, make it the coefficient. Pretty cool trick, right? Dang. You know, just for fun, let's try one last one. In fact... <clears throat> How about I put it up here on the screen, you go ahead and pause, and then try it. See how it goes, all right? So go ahead and pause it now, because in three, two, one, I'm going to begin. All right, so we're going to take that leading coefficient, we're going to multiply it by the constant over there, right? 
Then we're going to factor this. We're looking for two numbers multiplied 12, add to 1. That would be a minus 4 and a plus 3. So now we got to take care of that 6 that we got rid of at the beginning. We're going to divide both of these by 6 and then reduce. So 2 over 3, 1 half. Okay, then take that denominator, multiply it to make it the coefficient. Pretty cool. So hey, I hope that was enjoyable. I think that's a pretty cool way to do this. Um, go ahead and check out the link in the description I have. If you're a math teacher, I've got a lesson set up for this. It's got uh, something you can share with the students. It's got a worksheet, all kinds of stuff. So anyway, it's my gift for you because I think this is pretty cool. I think students are really going to like it, and uh, it's going to make them more confident, and you're going to be able to move through material more quickly because they're going to have factoring down. Anyway, thank you very much. Hope you have a good day.